hello and welcome to my youtube channel i really hope this video is loud enough because i'm having issues with my mic and i'm not using my mic today so i'll try my best to be audible so that you guys can hear me so you're welcome to my youtube channel if you are a returning subscriber you're welcome thank you for coming back and also thank you for your love on my last video the encouragement the love the support the i am rooting for you that i saw you guys are amazing i'm so happy and emotional at the same time thank you for loving me that much and if you're new here i want to welcome you today what's up guys you are welcome in the name of the Lord. I'm oh, enjoy. <laughs> hey y'all, come look at this. Okay, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Eliojo Abigail Oguche. And this is a place where you will be entertained, you feel relaxed, and also learn. You can watch my introduction video to know more about me. So let's get into today's video without further ado. So today's video is going to be sort of a vlog on my journey to work. I'm back. <laughs> if you live in Lagos, trust me, you understand why I call it a journey. Going to work on the island and living on the mainland is a journey on its own. <laughs> Minus Lagos traffic. Okay. Well, it's most of the traffic will call it a journey because Lagos is not really Lagos is not really big. It's a very small state, but the traffic and the number of people we have, the population is what what's giving us issues here. So it is a journey for me working on the island and um, living on the mainland. So what I do is I take ferry to work and back. Though my friends and my parents. I'm not really in support of me taking ferry is risky and truly I understand their fears it's actually risky so you will see it in the video you will see how the boat moves on water and you understand why why people get scared of, of, of taking boat to work and all that so when I first started this whole ferry thing my parents were not in support of it I would never even lie but the traffic i tried taking bus to work yes bus because i'm not i'm not a baller i'm a mechanic i don't have a car so the traffic that <laughs> that i met that day eh, i got to work really late even when i was coming back from work i took bus i got home really late so i just said please i just have to take ferry water is the boundary between where i live and the island so i just said please i'll just be using ferry to walk i cannot i cannot scan i cannot do this traffic thing do sometimes when i close late i used to still take bus home because the ferry the jet the ferry the jetty closes by 6 30 and if i close late i won't be able to meet up with the jet the the, the ferry so i just used to take bus You'll be seeing my movement on on the water, and I think I'll be showing just a little of my office view, what it is like, what my view is like when I get to the office. Yeah, then I'll show you how I get to the jetty. So unfortunately, Lagos State Government banned bikes. So unfortunately, unfortunately, well, it's fortunately as well because those bikes people they can be somehow and the way they drive but they ban bikes in my area so i can't take bikes to the jetty i have to walk down to the jetty and it's like a 10 minutes walk <laughs> that's why i cannot be i cannot be fat in the like me personally i cannot be fat in the so i'll be showing you that how i get to the jetty interact with my g's my friends i used to just with them laugh with them give them compliments oh you're looking nice i love your native just love relating with them you know, and they used to help me as well. Like when the queue is very long, they just help me, put me um, on board so that I can go to work on time to save my time. So yes, yeah, so I'll be showing you that. Yeah. Then also I'll be showing you our movement on water, and I'll also be showing you how. So I'll be showing you how I board the boat in the evening. So the evening and the morning boarding is quite different. In the morning, it's quite um, organized. Is that the word? It's quite organized. But well, in the evening, you see everywhere jam packed because everybody's trying to meet up with the 
with the board. They close by 6.30, so everybody wants to meet up with the board. Everybody's rushing, pushing, and all that. So those um, officials will now have to tell us to from from a queue so that we can board the boat gently. Yeah, I'll be showing you that how we queue up <laughs> in the evenings like primary school children going to collect food from the canteen. So that's how we do it in the evening. And also, what else? What else? What else will I be showing in that vlog? So it's not like a proper 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 vlog of a day in my life so please just manage it i won't be showing you everything that i do uh, yeah i'm showing you everything it's just my going to work and coming back so guys i'm just gonna jump right into the video i'll come back this was me leaving the house for the jetty i was just looking for my Good sister neighbor. struggle before leaving the house if she sees this video or i'm not used to about anything you go to fight yeah? with me <laughs> I was leaving the house, this is in front of my house and I was prepared for the walking because like I said in the video there are band bikes in my area so I have to walk down to the jetty even though you get to see bikes on the road I think yeah. they are for military men maybe they are the only ones allowed to, to ride bikes basically so the rest of us are gonna be walking there is no bus at the same time i think Lagos state government should do something about this yeah and uh, already walked into the compound because the jetty is actually located inside a company flower mills of nigeria i don't know if you've heard of that so, yeah so this is flower mill you have to get into the company before you get to the jetty so and you have to climb this very high staircase like huh. when i said i can't be part in this because you are you people thought that i was joking see, see see the number of staircase i had to climb yeah. this was me at the jetty a papa jetty yeah, yeah, just yeah, with yeah. my people like yeah. i said <laughs> this is one of them look at how he snatched my phone as when i recorded himself i think he didn't even know he was recorded yeah at this point he knew so he was recording himself yeah and he also featured somebody where you should i don't want to sign his people then he started recording me yeah so basically we're still at a papa here going to work in the morning yeah we had boarded the boat just feeling myself i don't even know what i was just looking tired already like legos would just make you tired my day has never started and i'm already tired i've gotten to work gotten to work here with my office view victoria island it's quite busy this place is normally busy, Sha. Because it's like a major junction. Or what's the word? A major a major road. So everybody used to pass this place. This was the evening on my way home. Here yeah, you get to see the queue I was talking about. Yes, yeah, so we were queuing up. Those people go in, they want to go and chance people at the front. <laughs> when I say people used to push people, these are the ones I would just go to the front and say, please sir, please man, let me enter your front. Yeah, so we're still on the queue, waiting for the boat to even come. The boat was never even here at this point. Oh, well, I think the boat was here, but people, people already on the boat were alighting, so we had to wait for them and also collect the life jacket from them yeah the queue is already moving here we're going slowly slowly but surely yeah and um we're just trying to put on our life jackets because safety is very important you have to you have to wear your life jacket at all times when on board so that was what we're doing here the life jacket that didn't got into me here i think the finished so i had to walk to the front to collect mine from one of the officials yeah. one of the officers rather so I collected mine here i was trying to put on my life jacket <laughs> this is for protection but safety is of the lord safety is of the lord 
You can only put on life jacket. Yeah. So we're already recording. At this point, I had to stop recording so that my phone doesn't fall into the water. So here, yeah, we're already in the ferry. This is just so we have different sizes of boats. This is the biggest size. This one is like moonwear. <laughs> this can contain up to 70 passengers. Yeah, they have smaller ones that can contain, let's say, 30, 30 to 40 passengers. But this is the one that this is the last boat. This was the one that I met when I got to the jet ski. So we hadn't taken off yet. We're still waiting for people because those ones still on the queue. They hadn't gotten their life vest at that point, and you can't enter the boat without wearing your life vest. So they were waiting. We went to look for life vest for them, and we're just waiting. Basically. watching that video if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and i also want to see a comment if you live in lagos what it is like i want to see your own can you please share your experience so that people that don't even have an idea of what it is would understand what it is like living in lagos and also the traffic and um, if you normally take ferry i want to see your own experience please share with us so that we would understand it thank you so much for watching this video i hope to see you in my next video bye please 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 please, please one more thing please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel please share my video to your friends and your families and your loved ones bye for now <laughs>